In our final program from our series 101 program, we are going to write a program to accept a file name from user and print content of that file. So in the program, we will require to use command and argument. So this first parameter is number of count of the argument that user is going to send. And the second parameter is your array of character pointer. So we are going to expect two parameters. So first will be your program name and second will be your file name that we will be using in this program. So before we start our file operations, we need to be sure that user has really sent two parameters so we will check whether argument count is equal to two or not so if it is not equal to then we will prompt user to enter command in this format where first or zero which is the command parameter which is your program name that will be printed over here followed by the file name we are directly writing orgv0 over here because if this line is getting executed that means this program was correctly called by the user that is why it is executing now so we are just writing your program name as it is and if user has entered two arguments then this part will be executed which is your else part and inside of else i'm using a file pointer to open orgv1 that is your second element from the command line arguments which will be containing the file name and we are opening that file name in read mode after execution of this statement if file pointer is pointing to null so we will print the error message and in the else block we will perform our operations so here i am using an integer variable i have done a small tweak here instead of declaring a variable as character I have declared it as int and then I am going to write my while loop where we are going to read character by character using the file pointer and all the characters that we are going to read one by one will be stored into x. So until the point we have eof in matching with x, x will be printed as percent %c. So though x is an integer variable, we are going to print the value as percent %c and as soon as f gets c reads eof, this while loop will be completed and after that we can close the file. So that is how we have read character one by one and print contents of a file and file name was passed as a command line argument. You can try a few more programs on command line arguments. Maybe you can write our previous programs where values can be supplied as a command line argument instead of expecting value at the runtime from the user. Though this was our final program in the series, there are few more theory concepts which are remaining to be explained. So in the next videos, I'm going to cover those topics. Plus, once we complete that, I have added one more section for interview trick questions, which has very interesting programs. Programs. So we are going to cover few programs or questions in those videos. Those videos will help you prepare for technical interviews, especially for the questions which can be asked on programming logic.